Let's so, do it. let's start on station number one, the first competitor of the day. So if you're watching home, you have to go to live stream channel number one, representing France, Tom Ballarin. So if you're here in the audience and you want to listen to one of the competitors, so if you're here, you want to listen to the competitor of France, please go on this side of the uh, stations and you will hear it. If you want to listen and watch Lithuania, you have to go in the middle. And if you want to watch the Philippines, please go on my right. Okay, judges. Judges, can I invite you on scene? There they are. Oh, come. Thanks. Hi, hello. So good luck to all hello. the competitors and we will see you Hi. in a couple hello. of minutes. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'll be your Okay. Thank you very much. Everyone ready? All good? Okay, time. Good morning, judges. My name is Tom. And when I was young, I wanted to be a chef. But life decided otherwise, and I became a rugby player. However, after a knee injury in Canberra, Australia, I went in a cafe and drank a pacamara that completely grabbed my attention. Since these days in Canberra, I've traded my career from rugby to coffee. Now, as a coffee professional, I've been traveling quite a bit, and I become interested about the idea of connecting different industries. So for example, specialty coffee and fine dining. A few months ago, I've started to work with some of the world's best chefs. This experience inspired me to bring the idea into specialty coffee, and that is what I will show you today. And for that, I will realize my dream to become a chef combining amazing ingredients with cooking techniques in order to create a new and unique experience out of my coffee. So today, I will start by serving the espressos, followed by a different coffee for the meal drink, and we're gonna finish with the signature drink. But before we begin, I have a little preparation to do. I'm going to flavor this special prep milk using 10 grams of cascara from the coffee I'm serving today, but also this pine cone from the surrounding forest of my coffee farm. So you will see that smell lovely. This will give to my drink a beautiful flavor of citrus and also a tiny bit woody, but no worries. It's just gonna be flavoring the milk. I don't gonna smell it too much. So I'm turning this on, closing the lid and explain you this part later. So the coffee I'm serving to you, it's a Pacamara variety, honey process from Santa Rosa in El Salvador. I chose this coffee for this unique terroir, but also for the producer called Raul Rivera. And Raul is a producer I could not wait to work with, because like me, he also truly believes in the importance of this Pacamara, which he has experimented in order to get the best and most distinct flavor in Santa Rosa. The Pacamara tree here are so beautiful. It's unbelievable. They grow in the middle of a pine forest area. And here it is so big and green. And if I need to describe you, I would love to say that look like a Scandinavian forest. So under 70% of shade made by this pine, the coffee tree grow very slowly, causing a slow maturation of the cherry so require a lot of care, but it's okay. It is what we're looking for to become unique and create its unbelievable sweetness. So now at 1600 meters above the sea level in this Halotipec mountain, the average temperature reached between 10 and 23 degrees Celsius. And this has a new influence over the flavor profile of my coffee the cool night of Santa Rosa, and the low temperature. Create a longer respiration cycle of the plant. And this leads to the development of a very beautiful malic acidity. So now, in order to experiment in this lot, 70. Roll med, a pre-anaerobic honey process. 
I mean, before being pulped and dried on a freaking bed, he pre-fermented the coffee in sherry using an anaerobic technique, keeping the temperature below 20 degrees Celsius. So the cherry get loaded into a tank. Water are filled, pushing out all the oxygen. And using this style of fermentation, Raoul can completely control and highlight this acidity that I mentioned you previously. So now, I will pour the espresso for you. Please, have a look on the menu. It contains some of the reference for my drink. And I come back with you shortly. Thank you very much. So today, I'm using 22 grams of coffee to produce 51 of espresso. And I brew my coffee at 92 degrees Celsius. Because I find at this temperature, I can make a balance between I like my complex acidity, but also the beautiful sweetness. So now, I will deliver the espresso. Please, evaluate the crema, but don't drink it yet. The clarity will improve at this coffee. Cool down a bit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Oh, please, don't drink your chest. Thanks. So could you please write down the cup profile? You will experience. Apple cider. Follow by rum resin. And at the end, dark chocolate. Regarding the tactile, it's a low to medium way. Creamy. Excuse me, juicy mouthfeel. And the long lingering finish. So judges, again, have a look at the menu contain the reference for my drink. You also have a white cup in front of you for your spoon. And now you may enjoy this unbelievable espresso. Thank you very much. So when you're ready, could you flip the menu? Thank you very much. And write down the cup profile of my cappuccinos. So you will get white chocolate, caramel, and rum. For this result, I'm using a recipe of 20 grams in to take out 32. All right. So 
so now I want you to explore and express the full potential of this Pacamara. So in order to get more fruitiness through milk, I decided to use the same Pacamara, but with a new and innovative processing technique for El Salvador. We call it whole cherry carbonic maceration. This process doesn't require any foil. Oh, ho, ho. here we are. And this controlled fermentation time results on beautiful flavor of caramel today. So now, after a six day of fermentation in seamless tank, the cherry are dried on African bed for 30 days, resulting in a beautiful sweetness through this milk. Thank you very much. So the next step. It was to do a lot of talk with my roster in order to get more concentration of that sweetness. So what we did is extended my R, mean the time between the yellow point and the first crack. And this extra caramelized time result today had this beautiful white chocolate for me. Thank you very much, sir. Lucky last. The milk I'm using today. It's from a small dairy farm in the French Alp region. And actually, it is a creamier milk I had ever tested before, with a fat content of 4.2%, which directly contributes to the creamy texture of my beverage. So please enjoy that sweetness that we both work hard for. Thank you very much. So for my signature drink, I challenge myself to use cooking techniques in order to create a new and unique experience out of this coffee using unusual ingredients. So as a chef today, I decided to make this signature drink without using any fruits or sugar, but only three ingredients. My pacamara, the milk from the cappuccino, but also some elements of pine from Santa Rosa. So please do like me, open this pot just in front of you, just hop on it, and you can put it down, and smell that pine that you will send me from Santa Rosa. I am so excited to share this element with you guys today. So what I did is making a pine bud reduction. I mean, I, I put this pine bud mixing with water and pine resin. Then I reduced it at slow heat yesterday during four hours in order to concentrate all of those aromatics. And the result is this green reduction, which smell like citrus, but the test remind me of cranberry. So today I'm gonna use seven mils of it. Because I find that the grapefruit's acidity of this pine leaf, but also that high tartaric acidity will give us, mixing with my coffee, a new nut sparkling raspberry candy. So everything charging in this, this siphon, charge it with nitrogen, combined with my four shot of espresso, brew using the same coffee and recipe of my espresso course. To highlight that sparkling raspberry candy nut. So now, the next part will highlight the unique aromas and mouthfeel of this Pacamara. So, let's start by the mouthfeel. Here, with the milk of my cappuccino, I made a fermented coffee milk in order to mimic the fermentation that I will apply in my coffee. So I dropped 200 ml of this milk into this jar and pair it with 10 grams of coarsely grind Pacamara and five grams of kefir. In order to allow the fermentation, I close the jar and let it rest at cool control temperature during five days. Due to the process, this is a non-alcoholic fermentation. 
So after filtering it in order, in order to obtain a smooth texture, combined with my drink, that give us a beautiful buttery mouthfeel. So what I did with this milk for the aromas is pair it with cascara for my coffee, but also pine cone from the surrounding forest of Santa Rosa. What I wanted to do here is to bring you to finish your journey with me into Santa Rosa. So this parrot in my drink will reveal a new nut, butter biscuit, but also give us that woody and citrusy aroma that Raul smell every morning in Santa Rosa. So now this drink will be served.